Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about the relations between India and Egypt. Now President of Egypt Abdel Fateh Al-Sisi paid a state visit to India from 24 to 26th January 2023 and was also the chief guest on India's 74th Republic Day. The key highlights of his visit were it was his third visit to India. President Fateh Al-Sisi has previously visited India in 2015 to participate in the third India Africa Forum summit and in 2016 on a state visit. This is for the first time that President of Egypt has been invited as a chief guest on our Republic Day. A military contingent from Egyptian army also participated in the Republic Day parade. Talking about the strategic partnership, the two sides agreed to elevate the India-Egypt bilateral relationship to a strategic partnership. The strategic partnership will have broadly four elements: political, defense and security, economic engagement, scientific and academic collaboration, and cultural and people-to-people -people contacts. Now the list of MOUs were exchanged during the visit in the area of cyber security to facilitate content exchange between Prasar Bharti and National Media Authority of Egypt next in the fields of information technology MOU is also signed in the field of culture and on cooperation in youth matters now let's know about the background of bilateral relations india and egypt two of the world's oldest civilizations have enjoyed a history of close contact from ancient times ashoka's edicts refer to his relations with egypt under ptolemy 2 Talking about the diplomatic relations India and Egypt are celebrating 75 years of establishment of diplomatic relations this year under Gamal Abdel Nasir and Jawaharlal Nehru a friendship treaty was signed between the two countries in 1955 If we look at the economic relations the India Egypt bilateral trade agreement has been in operation since 1978 and is based on the most favored nation clause bilateral trade between India and Egypt achieved a record high of US 7.26 billion dollar in financial year 2021-22 The trade was fairly balanced with 3.74 billion dollar Indian exports to Egypt and USD 3.52 billion imports from Egypt to India. The top 3 Indian imports from Egypt are crude petroleum, urea and anhydrous ammonia. Further, more than 50 Indian companies have invested around USD 3.15 billion in diverse sectors of Egyptian economy including chemicals, energy, textile, garment, agribusiness, retail, etc. Now let's discuss about the international cooperation. The two countries work closely at multilateral and international platforms and were the founding members of non-aligned movement egypt has signed the international solar alliance framework agreement as a founding member in 2018 egypt has also been invited as a guest country during india's presidency of g20 in 2022-23 Moving on to the importance of Egypt for India, Egypt occupies a crucial geostrategic location that is 12% of the global trade passes through Suez Canal and is a key player in the region. It is a major market for India and can act as a gateway to both Europe and Africa. India views Egypt as a moderate Islamic voice among Muslim majority countries as well as a friend within the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC which is the 57 country grouping of Islamic nations. Further India wants to supply India made defense equipment such as the light combat aircraft Tejas missiles like akash drdo's smart anti air field weapon and radars to egypt for this a defense pact was signed in 2022 now coming to the china's concerns china's bilateral trade with egypt is currently at dollar 15 billion which is double that of india's 7.26 billion dollar in 2021-22 also president fateh al sisi has been wooing chinese investments and has traveled to china as many as seven times in the last 8 years 
Now that was little bit about India Egypt relations let's take a practice question consider the following statements statement 1 India and Egypt have agreed to elevate the bilateral relationship to a strategic partnership statement 2 the two countries were the founding members of non aligned movement now which of these statements given above is or are correct you may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below Now the correct answer is C that is both statements 1 and 2 are correct. I hope you liked the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos stay tuned to the next IS YouTube channel.